Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to share with you my new favorite test to be able to tell if you have one hip higher than the other. So in this video, we're gonna review my old test and then I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this simple, clear test to be able to tell if you have one hip higher than the other. Let's dive in now. Hip -bye, hip -bye. Let's review. What does it mean to have one hip higher than the other? Basically means that one hip here is gonna be noticeably higher than the other, and that's generally due to two causes. The first are muscles, right? You might have in this case, these group of muscles on this side, hip abductors are pulling down this side, and these sides may be effectively lengthened, all right? Now the other case is due to an actual bone length discrepancy. There's a bone length difference. That could be due to your femur, it could be due to your tibia, sometimes even the ankle complex can cause one leg to appear shorter than the other. So how do you tell the difference? And so one of my favorite quick tests, this is an old test, and we are gonna get into the new test right after this. One of my favorite old tests is to simply find out if your feet are about hip width to shoulder width apart we go here right and let's say let's say we find something like this noticeably different right but then when we lengthen our legs things are pretty level here right um that would be due to a muscular difference then okay because when we're widening the legs the muscles all effectively shorten to about the same length right however when we have a true leg length discrepancy, we'll still see that same difference. And if you suspect that, a way you can verify that, which is our new test, is to lie down on your back, okay? And you wanna make sure that your legs are straight up. We don't want them here. We don't want your feet out here. We don't want them in. Everything should be nice and straight and nice and vertical. I don't want your legs way up here. They shouldn't be down here. Everything should be as vertical as possible. Then we're gonna use a level. Now, sometimes you'll be able to just easily tell. Um, I'm using, for whatever reason, an extremely long level. So we put the uh, level on top of the highest point of our knees. And as you can see right here, I actually do have a leg length discrepancy. Oh my gosh, not a surprise to me. Now, ideally, this would be about level here. Oh my goodness, there's something going on, right? Also, make sure you're level, you're right, you have the pressure right in the middle of your back. Sometimes that, that can make a little bit of a difference here, right? But essentially, we have an unlevel uh, leg length difference. So, if you do have that, what can you do about it? Well, I want you to review my last video, but I want you to talk to your doctor about it. And we're looking at possibly some sort of shoe lift, some sort of orthopedic thing, uh, something that probably will even off your pelvis. And for some people, actually, it's not a big deal at all. If it doesn't cause you any issues, chances are you don't need to do anything and you probably will not develop any issues. Now, what's that from? Often it is due from like a bone break when you're younger, when you're developing <clears throat> uh, in the bones. Um, can uh, get longer, one femur might get longer than the other, or if there's actually a surgery on it, uh, there are uh, people have, some people have genetic conditions that will predispose them to one leg length growing longer than the other. So how did you perform on the test? Do you have one hip higher than the other? Let me know in the questions or comments. I'm happy to answer them. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.